on Santa Barbara. I never stop loving you. Will a confession of love bring a confession of murder? It was Kirk. This week. You know, I, I didn't sleep a wink last night. I kept thinking about our latest non-conversation about whatever else is really bothering you. Kirk's really... Please, sit down. Now you gotta tell me what's going on. What is Nick investigating for you? What did he tell you? Not much, but I know he's worried, and so am I. Are you in danger? No. Nick is just investigating some corporate business for me. You always were a lousy liar. I can't help her if you don't believe me. You know what I think? I think you know a lot more about Gina's attempt on your life than you're letting on. Oh, you're wrong. Damn it, Eden, will you stop? Pursuing this alone is a mistake. You could get hurt. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? Does that mean you know somebody else is involved? You know, I'm not going anywhere until you start talking it to me. It doesn't matter now. How can you say that? What if... What if it wasn't just one attempt? What if the cabin wasn't an accident? That mysterious explosion could very easily have been the work of whoever planned the boathouse. Yeah, think about it. I mean, why didn't you come to me with this in the first place? You think I don't care about this? I thought that you cared too much, and I, I didn't want you to get hurt. I couldn't stand that. Don't you understand that? Who is going to hurt me? Who are you afraid of? Sorry to interrupt. I've ordered a new series of heart scans on your husband. Is he worse? Oh, no. Quite to the contrary. As a matter of fact... I want to know his exact coronary condition, especially in view of his latest episode. And he'd like to see you before we take him down. Of course. Yeah. Hi. How do you feel? Better. The doctor says you're doing a lot better. Getting stronger. Feel stronger. I wasn't about to leave you now. Don't try to talk. No, but I want to. The worst is over now. He just rest. Later. The doctor said that this this heart of mine stopped for a few moments. For a few moments, I was dead. No, just don't think about it. Well, it's okay. I knew I'd come back to you, sweetheart. Nothing's going to keep us apart anymore. We'll talk about this when you get better, okay? No, darling. Now. I want to talk about it now with you. I'm going to be okay, sweetheart. I'll be coming home with you. Everything will be just like it was. I promise you. I love you, darling. Good, huh? You know, you were right all along. If Gina wanted to kill me, she would have. There was someone else. Who? Same person who made sure I was at the boathouse. Same person who sent the notes. You do know, don't you? I don't have any proof. That's what Nick was doing. He was helping me piece it all together. So who was it, Eden? Someone very insecure and jealous. Someone who couldn't stand the thought of me meeting with another man, wanting to be with another man. My God. It was Kirk. Kirk knew that I never loved him. I wouldn't even admit it to myself. But he always knew that I wanted to be with you. I know. I had lied for so long about us that I thought that he would believe the lies. 
But he didn't. Let's not talk about this anymore. Right Bruce, this. I've missed you. I've missed you so much and I want to be happy again. I love you. I never stop loving you. Bruce. Yeah, I have great news, Mrs. Cranston. All your husband's results are very encouraging. The arteriogram, all the other preliminary results indicate he's going to be able to lead a very healthy and normal life. You hear that, Stephen? I'm going to make it. I'm going to live. I told you I'd never leave you alone. what you tried to do, your life is going to be anything but peaceful. On your way up north again, I see. I'm not. Juanita is. Juanita Gonzalez is getting on that plane. Hello? What are you doing in my room? I'm here on business. What the... Police business. Oh, Castillo, what does it have to do with? With the lady who donated your heart? I'm investigating her murder. I thought the murder took place in Santa Barbara. It did. But a call was made from Madeline Laurent to this location. Eden spoke to her not long before she died. I didn't realize that. So you're, you're really here because you want to talk to Eden? That was the plan. Well, where is she? She had to go back to Santa Barbara. What for? I don't know, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. It's funny you didn't fly back with her. Couldn't get a seat on the same plane. You know, Kirk, she was all broken up when it seemed like your body was going to reject your new heart. It's amazing to look at you now. You'd never know how critical the situation was. Well, I feel better than I have in a long, long time, Chris. You're very lucky. All I want to do is get back to my wife. I can understand that. Sure you can. After all, you're a family man now yourself, aren't you? How is everybody? How is Santana and Brandon doing? They're doing fine, Kirk. Oh, I'm really glad to hear it. Oh, I was just leaving. I know he needs his rest. Well, keep up the good work. Yeah, I will. I want to get out of here. I'm back on my feet. Believe me, I want to see that happen just as much as you do, pal. You know, Castillo, I kind of find it interesting you stopping by and looking in on me. Well, I don't get to see a real live triumph of medical science every day. Your scientific curiosity is satisfied. Not quite. You take care now. Oh, great. I'm starved. You call that lunch? Well, I hope I'm not expected to feed you. So, are you here to finish me off? My, my, Kirk. Get out, Gina. Calm down. After all, your delicate little lady's heart can't take it. One day, Gina. One day you're going to get up and walk out of here. And kill you. 
Now you're calming down. No, you're not. When they release you, you're going to help me get Brandon back. And everything else that's rightfully mine. You're the only person who can do it, Kirk. No. Now, don't get testy, Kirk. After all, you've just been through one of the most difficult operations in medical history, and you've even managed to survive it. Well, it's a shame nobody's here to cheer you up. Where is your loving wife? Eden had to go back to Santa Barbara on business. Really? What kind of business, sir? Santa Barbara police business? The detective division, maybe? You are digging your own grave, Gina. Well, I'm not worried. Because I have that little piece of tape, remember? Where you admit that you set me up to kill your wife. And if you don't come through for me, Kirk, I'm going to buy myself a brand new set of batteries and push play. Listen, I have a brand new heart in here, Gina. It's a Capwell heart. No less. And it's going to make me better and stronger and smarter than ever. So don't think that you can just push me around. Just because you have a piece of tape. Let me go. I am in this bed because of you, Gina. And I will never forget how you brought on my heart attack. And I intend to return the favor. So help me. Hello? Hi, Kirk. I'll make this quick. After our conversation today, I just thought you might need a little extra motivation. What? I've got something I think you really should hear. Just in case you think my little piece of tape is some kind of joke. Get a load of this and then tell me you have nothing to worry about. You almost trapped me into killing Eden in cold blood. You had the gun, Gina. You had her right where we wanted her. But you waited too long. <laughs> So, what do you think? Ooh, I still have the touch.